Hey guys and welcome back to another brand new video. So today I will be talking about an interview with Mr. Yuichiro Hayashi that actually published four months ago, yes, on the 2nd of April 2021. And apparently I haven't actually covered this one yet. So without further ado, let's just go on and get straight into the video. Attack on Titan director reveals secrets behind his style in the final season. Studio Mappa's Yuichiro Hayashi took over as the director of Attack on Titan from studio with Tetsuro Araki, who made the anime a cultural phenomenon. Moreover, he added computer graphics to the mix. How did he do that and what lies ahead? Attack on Titan or Shingeki no Kyojin as it is known in Japanese is a pinnacle of pop culture of the 2010s for subculture fans. The original manga sold more than 100 million copies all over the world and was further boosted by Story's incredibly popular three anime season. The fourth season, Attack on Titan the final season, started December 6, 2020. It depicts a new world compared to the third season. A new story, a new characters, by a new studio and a new director. It's fascinating people all around the world. At Japan Forward, we had the opportunity to sit down with Mr. Yuichiro Hayashi of anime production company Studio Mopa and is the director of Attack on Titan the final season. He addressed the question on the minds of the most ardent fans, such as the reason behind the transition from Studio Wit to Studio Mopa for the final season, the choices behind the use of computer graphics, what it was like to work on the series, excerpts of the interview follow. So the first question is, why was there a shift in production companies from Studio Wit, which made the anime for the first three seasons, to MAPA? Hayashi replied with, To tell you the truth, I don't know much about the details, so it's difficult to give you a concrete answer. Studio changes are not impossible. However, it's a rare case that studio change in consecutive seasons. I think there is no precedent of changing studios while making a work which is the equivalent to Attack on Titan. I was surprised myself and understood why the fans will have the same reaction. I hope you enjoy the difference between both studios. The past installments of the anime series were directed by Tetsuro Araki, who contributed significantly to the popularity of Attack on Titan? Did you feel pressure when you took it over? He replied with, I understood from the very beginning that taking it over is not easy. The director Araki and his animation made Attack on Titan a social phenomenon. Yes, I agree. In this sense, what he did was really great. However, even if I had refused the offer, someone at MAPA would have taken charge of it. In the first place, I was personally interested in Attack on Titan and watch the anime. That being case, I thought it would be more interesting if I took on the project. My curiosity about how it would be if I undertook it overcame my worry about the pressure. So I took it on. Next question we have, how did you cooperate with Wit Studio, the studio that made past animations, so the takeover would go smoothly? So he replied with, at first, I received all plots, story setting, and past movie resources. They let me use almost everything freely. And I went to have a meal with Mr. Tetsuro Araki, which is also the past season director, and learned the details. For example, how he made past season and how he set up the audio environment, because I had never worked with an audio director before. I had to research many things on this front. Next question we have, why did you start using computer graphic imagery, CGI in scenes for example, depicting the Nine Titans? Hayashi replied with, Wit Studio used CGI to depict the colossal titan from the beginning of the second season. They also used CGI to depict the details, for example small weapons, and today it's becoming more and more common to use CGI for or anime. Before I started making Attack on Titan, I was making an anime of Doro Hedoro. Because I used a lot of CG for Doro Hedoro, I wanted to have continuous management control over MAPA Studio CGI team. 
I didn't think turning every character into CGI would work. However, we thought it would be good if we depict the Nine Titans with CGI. Given the timeline from Doro Hedero, I think it's quite natural. Alright, let's go on to the most controversial type of question here. Were you concerned about negative reactions from viewers when you decided to use CGI? And here is the reply. To tell you the truth, I am a bit surprised that foreign viewers raised this issue. Compared to Japan, foreign animation use so much more CGI. Maybe that's why they want a hand drawing in animation from Japan. I was originally a hand drawing animator, but as a result of that, if anything, I am not all that committed to hand drawing. Ultimately, I believe the look of the video footage is the main point. CGI is just another tool like pencils and and brush pants. We do not intend to put an emphasis on CGI, nor are we fixated on one technique or the other. For us, CGI exists as an expansion of animation. And let's move on to the next question which is, how does this use of CGI differ compared to other works you have done? And he replied with, I'm not too knowledgeable about CGI, Doro Hedoro was the first time for me to use a lot of CGI for animation. Recently, anime that use partial or full CGI have been on the increase, but I don't think CGI animators are much involved in them. I make storyboards from an animator's perspective. I believe the moves of characters won't have the right impact unless they are within the limitation of hand drawing. So if I find a cut and moves which looks like CGI, I draw fixed move by hand and ask the CGI animators to adjust the movement frame by frame. The sum of many small changes makes CGI comparable to hand drawing. Next question we have, the anime has many details that are not depicted in the original manga. For example, the image of the Panther unit, who decides the added details. And Hayashi replied with, that was my idea. We normally draw storyboards before I order background paintings, and when I drew them, I wondered what the members of Panzer Unit had in their cockpit. When it comes to war movies, these show people decorating their equipment or their space with pictures they like, or letters from their family and partner. Because the members of the Panzer Unit like Pig, I thought they would stick pictures of Pig, as if they were decorating their own rooms. Without watching carefully, people fail to note things like this, but I want to be particular about this kind of detail. And that's basically it for the entire interview. Thank you very much for watching this video. You guys can just read the entire interview. It's going to be linked in the description of today's video. And yeah, that's basically it. Tomorrow is the MAPA stage 2021, and I am very excited for Chainsaw Man trailer. So yeah, that's basically it. Subscribe and like, and I'll see you guys in the next attack on titan video goodbye